Archie's Madhouse, Issue 55 Sabrina complains to her fairy witch mother that a guy she likes named Tommy is losing. Whatever happened to Donald? I thought he'd stay with her because, oh my god, a guy who knows she's a witch is dating her anyways. She casts a spell to make Tommy travel fast, so he wins in his race car. Some girls run past Sabrina when she wants to go up to him, and they overwhelm him. Sabrina asks him about their date tonight. First, he's the type to apologize to her, and then he says he wants to give some of the other girls a chance. Sabrina confuses me by saying she hasn't been this mad since the Salem Witchcraft Trials. Apparently, in this continuity, she's much older than she looks. I guess she just moved to Riverdale. Surprisingly, her fairy witch mother tells her off for her temper when she kicks something. I thought witches encouraged bad behavior in this continuity. This wasn't inconveniencing Sabrina. She says that she has to make someone else win the next race to take Tommy off his high horse, because surprisingly, she still wants to date him after he casually rejected her for someone else. Why is she desperate to not give up on this one? She's told she should make him lose the race to a guy whose car usually breaks down before a race. Then she actually says hello to him and he falls in love with her. And she keeps smiling and tells him to get some sodas while she tries to improve the appearance of his car. So she's just getting him out of the way so she can cast a spell on it without needing to erase his memory of it too. It's convenient for her that he was already infatuated with her so she wouldn't need to cast a love spell on him. She says the car's improved, and he doesn't ask how that happened so fast. Oh right, people are allowed to know she's a witch in this continuity. So he just says he needs a roll bar on his car. She assumes he's talking about edible rolls and zaps up a milk bar instead, probably because it'd be healthier. Naturally, when he asks for a bunch of technology, she has no idea what he's talking about, and couldn't zap it up because it'd be very complicated. So she tells him to just enter the race, and says she'll see what she can do. I'm surprised that she was being up front with him right from the start, that she'd use magic to make him illegally win the race. Probably because if she didn't tell him, it would have been much faster pacing immediately cutting to the race starting. So I assumed that would happen. She casts a spell saying, May Clyde's car fly like the wind, so naturally, the magic interprets that literally. Instead of freaking out, someone in the audience keeps on smiling and asks him where his pilot's license is. Is everyone in the planet just used to witchcraft? Won't he be disqualified from the race immediately? She casts a spell to make him travel at the speed of gossip. And surprisingly, it works, and he wins when she didn't even have the internet to think about back then. Which makes gossip travel way faster. Tommy's humbled by losing the race and asks Sabrina to forgive him and still go out with him tonight. Things are turning out well for Sabrina, so I'm guessing they're going to turn south really soon. Clyde tells Tommy to leave her alone because she's his. He kicks him away, saying that she's dating him from now on. And Sabrina's told she won a trophy for the best hexing job of the year, which she can somehow win by hexing herself. If that was possible, she'd win every year, so that wouldn't be fair. It would be really easy to win it. People would do it on purpose to themselves. I'm guessing it's just a trophy she just conjured up as a joke. And you'd think Sabrina would be able to use magic to undo this problem right away. She could reverse time outright or erase the memories of Clyde and Tommy to get things back to where they're supposed to be. Instead, it ends there. This story was about her wanting to get a guy to win a race just for doing well in the race to cause him to get overwhelmed with girls and actually consider dating them instead of her. So instead of losing interest in him, she decides to make him lose, and so she cheats with magic so that the guy with the terrible car will beat him. This humbles him, but somehow the guy with the car feels entitled to date her and kicks him away, so she wins a trophy for hexing herself. I guess we're supposed to believe she deserved this for... Cheating with magic.